What's packing with you, YouTube? This is your man, King Howie. Back with another video. <sighs> After watching this good game yesterday, live and direct, at the L.A. Coliseum, and then leaving that, that damn place pissed off, upset, confused, worried, <sighs> sad, news comes out of nowhere, everywhere, all on social media, that Ty Montgomery had a bitch fit on the sideline on the previous offensive series because he got snatched out of the game after Aaron Rodgers threw an out route pass to him. That was a that was a terrible pass by Aaron Rodgers. Terrible pass. He threw it in the dirt. Ty Montgomery had enough space and room to try to create a play to get upfield. Um, passes dropped are uncatchable to me. And they pull him right out of the game and they throw Aaron Jones in there. Ty Montgomery goes to the sideline, slams his helmet, throws a bitch fit, and then after the Rams go up two points, 29 27. They put Ty Montgomery back there and tell him specifically, allegedly, this is what was said. Don't return the ball. Don't run the ball out. But after reviewing the nature of the kick, Ty Montgomery really didn't have a choice but to run it out. The Rams kind of, how do you say? Didn't kick it far enough for him to take a touchback. Like, if you go back and look at the play, the ball is kicked short. And it kind of, like, falls, like, right where the one-yard line is. So he had to come out. Um, and then, you know, the rest is history. Um, they said that after the fumble, Aaron Rodgers ran up to him and told him to – uh don't run the fucking ball. <laughs> uh. Numerous P Packer players have said they don't know what was going on through uh, Ty Montgomery's mind. A lot of them were upset about the decision he made. They felt that, you know, we got the best quarterback in the league. Just let him do it. Let him do his job. <laughs> we paying this motherfucker one hundred and thirty four million dollars. Let him do his job and you rob him of that opportunity of doing his job. Um, I don't I don't I don't want to say this was a sabotage job, screw job by Tom Montgomery <clears throat> letting the Packers organization know. Um, I could go use my talent somewhere else. I think that I think uh, that's that's what I'm getting from it. I'm not coming back here next year. That's what I'm seeing from this whole situation right now. I think Ty Montgomery don't want to be a Green Bay Packer no more. Um, you know that's fine. You know people come, people go. That's the nature of the business. Um, you just hopefully you uh, get a group of guys, a group of 53 men that's on the same uh, page of wanting to win the Super Bowl. Uh, as of yet, with the Green Bay Packers, that doesn't seem like that's where everybody's minds are at right now, trying to win the Super Bowl. I, it's a few players I could tell you that want to win the Super Bowl. I could tell you Randall Cobb and Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers' mindset and uh, – David Bakhtiari, I could tell you, 
Oh, and Clay Matthews and maybe a few other of them cats on the defensive end, defensive side of the ball. Mike Daniels, I, I could tell you their mindset is trying to win the Super Bowl, but, you know, this, this is how the Packers operate. They don't really give guys opportunities, man. I mean, look at our run game. Dudes are not getting opportunities, and then when they do get an opportunity and score a touchdown, it kind of makes you think, like, okay, if we could run the ball like this success, successfully, you know, why not give more opportunities of running the ball? Now you want to run the ball? Golly. <laughs> uh it's just weird, man, watching this shit, man. It's like they it's like it's like being tortured on purpose, man, watching the Green Bay Packers play football, man. It's like torture. I don't understand it. You would think a team like this would be smart. You would think a team like the Green Bay Packers, a winning, a historic winning tradition, you would think a team like this We'll have a high IQ. And then we watch these games and we just puzzled, baffled. Like, this is the team that we rooting for playing like this? With the best quarterback in the fucking league? And y'all still can't fix the damn defense? Eight goddamn years. Makes no sense, man. It's just, I don't understand this shit. I don't understand it. This team is just weird as fuck. <laughs> weird. Got the best quarterback in the league on one of the weirdest teams right now, man. In the last few years, this team has been doing some weird ass shit. Getting close enough and then some weird shit just happens i don't understand it i don't get it having injuries at the worst possible time in the most critical part of the season dudes losing lack of focus oh i'm gonna go grab this onside kick Oh, uh, we just going to let Larry Fitzgerald just score all these touchdowns late in the game. We ain't going to guard him. We ain't going to guard him. We just going to let him run across the field and get wide open. Oh, this team, man. Fucking Green Bay Packers, man. This team is weird. Weird ass seasons, man. I don't understand it. Aaron Rodgers be playing weird sometime. I'm like, what the f- What? 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 It's like you don't know what to expect from the Green Bay Packers every week. You just don't know what to expect. I'm telling you, man. It's like the NFL don't want him to win another Super Bowl. It's, it's, I, I don't understand it, man. It's just like the Green Bay Packers are just holding this guy back. Holding this guy back. I think Aaron Rodgers' potential could go far beyond what he's playing like now. It's just the Green Bay Packers don't want to see that happen. I think Aaron Rodgers could do some um, way more amazing shit than what we've seen. Way more amazing shit than what we've seen. It's just the Green Bay Packers keep holding this guy back year after year, after year, after year. Aaron Rodgers scored high on the SAT. <laughs> He's one of the smartest people in the NFL, players in the NFL. I mean, if he could just work the injuries out, I think I think his potential could go way far beyond. I'm telling you, if this guy wins another Super Bowl, Rock star Aaron Rodgers is going to come right back out the bag just like he did when he won the first Super Bowl. When 15 and 1, that dude looked unstoppable. He looked like it was like a video game character out there, just doing whatever the hell he wanted to do. 
right now and I think his confidence is a little down um I mean hopefully the money is you know the motivation it, it should be as of right now but like I've said man Aaron Rodgers does not have time to fuck around he knows this is it he knows this is the last six years he might want to play football And the Green Bay Packers organization, the staff, the heads, Mark Murphy and all of those guys. <laughs> they don't fucking get it. I don't know what's going on, man, but. <sighs> this shit is just pissing me off, man just pissing me off and you, and you look at all of the other talented teams and you just think like damn what if Aaron Rodgers was playing with them man what if Aaron Rodgers was playing with the Rams what if Aaron Rodgers was playing with the, the Minnesota Vikings what if he was playing with the Saints what if he had the weapons that that Matt Ryan got what if he had a running back like Ezekiel Elliott? What ifs, what ifs, what ifs? I bet you have I bet you have another Super Bowl. <laughs> I bet you have at least two Super Bowls with those teams. The play calling, it's like they holding them back with the play calling. I'm like, <laughs> oh. It looked like they holding the running backs back. It looked like those dudes are begging the Green Bay Packers coaching staff. Come on, guys. Just let us do our thing. And the Green Bay Packers just keep calling the bullshit plays. You know what? At first, I will argue. I will argue with uh, Packer fans when they will say, we need to fire McCarthy. We need to fire McCarthy. I'm like... I'm like <laughs> at, at first I was I was I was kind I was against it. Now I'm kind of I'm kind of teetering on that side, but at the end of the day, who are we going to get to replace Mike McCarthy? Who are we going to get? What coach? A college coach? Ben McAdoo, that's who y'all want? He ain't going to do nothing but run a McCarthy system. Same shit he tried to do with Eli Manning with the Giants. That shit didn't work. This team needs to evolve. This team needs to evolve. If we going to run these kind of football plays that we running, then we might as well just run no huddle. If we going to run these kind of damn football plays that I'm seeing, that I was watching at the game yesterday, like what kind of fucking call is that? Why are we doing that? You're not even letting the receivers, you're not even letting the receivers get a chance to run the routes with the play calling. Play calling is trash. <laughs> and then, you know, the defense was, the defense did a hell of a job, man. They was getting a whole lot of three and outs. But after a while, after a while man, something's got to give. And apparently, you know, <sighs> oh my God, man, this fucking team. I don't know, man. We got to play against New England. Like, like the Packers, man. <laughs> uh, like I said before, man, trial and error, man. This is what this is all about. But Ty Montgomery, I don't know if he's going to get fired. 
a lot of a lot of people saying that he would have been fired right after the game. Uh, I don't believe the Packers can afford to do that. <laughs> they might have to keep him for the uh, remainder of this year, and then release him. Um, but who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen with Ty Montgomery? Um, I'm pretty sure his playing time is gonna get cut even shorter. He might not even get on the field again. So. Y'all let me know, man. Uh, Remember to like, subscribe, and uh, comment. This is your man, King Howie, and I'm out.